here is Tanis. And this is the course of the Tanitic branch of the Nile, with numerous sites along its banks, but no site dates from the time of Ramses II. Which means this branch of the Nile didn't even exist at the time of Ramesses the Great. This eliminates the Tanitic branch of being active in the time of Ramses II. Also, it rules out that Tanis had been Piramese. What Bitak had discovered was extraordinary. There was no pottery at Tanis from the time of Ramesses the Great. All of it dates from at least 200 years after his death. This meant that despite all of Pierre Monte's genuine finds, the great pharaoh couldn't possibly have built his capital city here. There was no city here at the time of Ramesses the Great. Not a single pottery shirt has been collected from the time of Ramses II or before, but everything is post Ramses II, and uh, this is a very important point. And yet, the monuments, statues, and buildings here are, without doubt, those of Pyramus, built by Ramses the Great. It was a bizarre paradox. How can a magnificent city turn up in a place where it could never have been built? And where on earth should it have been in the first place? <laughs> 